Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's uh, hard to say um, right now. I don't really have a clear mind, but um, hard to lose, obviously. Um, we, yeah, I thought the guys played really hard. Um, again, I think I needed to be better. Um, I mean, I got pulled countless times, so uh, it's hard to take this one on the chin, for sure. The third goal through off your shoulder, what kind of, can you take us through that one, what happened? Yeah, um, you know, I worked really hard to get in position, uh, got a lot of depth, made a, a, a nice shot, but I made the save and uh, went right up. I thought it was going to go into the netting because that's kind of, I feel like that's kind of how it normally goes. And um, I was looking up to kind of make sure and then it bounced right on the goal. And uh, it uh, reminded me of the goal against the day before Christmas uh, against Vancouver. And I was kind of just like shitty bounce. Was your confidence all right? Like you're a guy who seems to be able to shut things down and forget about stuff through that part of it fine. It was just kind of physical stuff. That was yeah, um, you know, I felt confident uh, no matter what. I, I, I feel good. I know that uh, I know how to play the game and I've done it uh, for many years and I've been able to rebound from a lot of goals against in, in my lifetime. Uh, I mean, if you think about it this year, I, there's one shed out I got. So every game I'm letting in a goal, right? So. Um, I've had a lot of practice to rebound against goals against and um, if it's bad luck, if it's a good goal, if it's a bad goal, if it's my fault, like whatever, right? So I've been in all those scenarios where uh, I know how to refocus and I know how to stay confident and um, yeah, I mean, I don't think confidence was the problem for me. Gene, you had a lot of confidence and you, you, know, you said you were pulled and then he came back, started you again. So what did that mean to you personally? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's always good when you're put back into the net. Um, you know, you get you get, you know, a chance for redemption, chance to bounce back. Uh, I thought I did a great job on bouncing back every game, and then uh, tonight just obviously wasn't my night. Um, yeah, I mean, it, obviously it feels good to go back in the net, but my job, whenever I'm told to go into the net, my job is to stop the puck. I don't know if you can look down on this thing from 30,000 feet quite yet, but this is your first time doing this. You've never done it before, even though you've done it at the AHL and other levels. Yep. Uh, when you look back on this, are you going to be able to say that this was a necessary part of Stuart Skinner's graduation into being an NHL goalie? You got to go through your first one and, and learn what you've been learning. Yeah, um, this is obviously part of the book that you know one day we're all going to write. Um, this is you know a chapter where it stings and it sucks and it's painful and sure it's your first year for myself, but. Um, you know, it was a year that we had a very special group and I had the chance to, you know, help this team do that and um, didn't do that. But it's it's part of the part of the road. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's hard. It's hard to really think about it right now. But um, yeah, it's part of the it's part of my story anyways. Part of your story, part of the team story. Is this we just asked Connor if this is part of the he said good teams that win always go through this. It's hard to go through, but you got to go through it. Is this something that this team has to go through too? Yeah, I think uh, I think the team's gone through it uh, enough times now. Um, I would like to think that way anyways. Um, you got to learn how to lose, obviously. Uh, you got to learn how to win as well. Um, I think we know how to do both. Um, so I think just being able to, you know, gather ourselves here in the summer and get to work and know what we're coming back here to do and that's to win the cup. <clears throat> no, we just weren't uh, consistent enough. Well, I think uh, you give them chances they're going to make you pay. Kind of play the fire a little bit getting behind um, in the series and then uh, you know they they uh, found a way to finish their chances tonight and we couldn't. What about the second period, just the fact that you had a rough second? Yeah. Um, they scored, uh, felt like, in, in succession there in the, in the second. Uh, ended up being a difference. I know you guys had you know, great control of your game coming down the stretch, and, and we're playing really, really strong hockey on a lot of nights. 
was it just that the caliber went up here in the playoffs a bit and it was just tougher or why do you think maybe you didn't have access to that high end game as much? I don't know. I think you know you have to go back and watch it when um, we had the team that was capable of uh, of more and it sucks. I know obviously a disappointing to lose. I know it's super fresh, but you look at kind of your team and where this plays is at. This one sting even more just because you felt like, you know, there was a real opportunity and maybe wasted now. Every year, the older you get, the stings more. So, yeah, sucks. Did you get enough? When you were coming down the stretch, you were getting production from every line, from lots of different players. That stopped these last three games. Did Was it injury? Was it just did not enough guys bring it every night? What happens? Um, I don't know, every single person in this room went out there and prepared, tried to give everything that uh, they had, and we weren't able to, you know, produce at the same level five on five um, as Vegas was, and that comes down to each and every guy. You know, um, you know we we did produce a lot in the in the regular season, and uh, we're a really good five on five team, and. Um, I think on uh, a team and personal level, we could have uh, been better and makes it stings now.